Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're just doing like a accumulation haul. <laughs> but everything I've accumulated over the past month, maybe month and a half. So let's just get started. Um we have a lot around me. Can't okay, so the first we got this camera up a little bit. Okay. Back it up a little bit. Okay. We're perfect now. So the first thing we're gonna start off with is like Hobby Lobby, things like that. Like we're just gonna like grab stuff at this point, you know what I mean? Like we're just grabbing it. So let's start over here. I got this yarn from Hobby Lobby. It is the color Strawberry Jam. I love it because it like it reminds me of like Y2K, you know what I mean? Like I think it would be great material for like a nice top. So I got this. And then we're also gonna be doing like projects stuff like that i'm working on so be prepared for that so i also got this stuff from hobby lobby it's a needle belt kit it's a, called fancy box i think it's so cute look at it it's literally adorable like this is so cute so it was 6.99 which is a pretty good price um, it comes with pre-printed fabric panel, felting material, embroidery hoop, hoop, felting needle, embroidery floss, embroidery needle, miscellaneous embellishments, and easy to follow instructions. This is what, it comes with for $6.99. Then I got this $5.99 crochet kit. It's a sushi. I think it's so cute. Look at it. Little sushi. And it comes with polyester yarn, polyester fiber film, um, plastic needle crochet hook, I mean plastic crochet hook, plastic needle and instructions. So that's what this comes with. Excited, excited, excited. The project I'm working on right now, it's a top. It's not a tube top. We're going to be making scraps for it and then ruffles at the bottom. So it fits perfectly right now. This is the the pemprelum pemp pemp peplum top, and I put it right here. So that's what this is. Um, I'm working on it. I haven't been really working on it lately because, like, I just haven't had that much time. But as you can see, I had enough time to shop. So <laughs> next project I'm working on is. This skirt, as you can see, my hook's actually in here. So, it is a skirt. It's not going to be this short, obviously. But this is the ruffle part of it. And then we're just going to be building up on it. Um, so, that's what it's looking like so far. I really like this. I like the um, shiny details to it. I think it's really cute. So that's another project. Then I got these earmuffs for like um an accessory. Look at them. They are so cute. I love them so much. And they keep your ears actually warm. Like a lot of them don't keep your ears warm. But I also live in Arizona. But I think these are so cute. And they are adjustable. So I really like that about these. From Hobby Lobby for twenty three dollars, but it was more like thirteen because I got a discount on it. So it's Hello Kitty and Friends paint your own figurines. So I got that, but I'm not gonna use the paint in here. So I got this to use my own paint and everything else. Um, like I got paint brushes, everything else. So we're all paint. Let's just show up these. So these were about. I don't even know like a dollar maybe or 59 cents so i got the pink sorry about that <laughs> so i got the pink i got the white green red oh these are from walmart that's what these are from walmart um the red yellow dollar tree is the light pink blue and then this is like a pink and we have more paints coming later so it's not all the paints next we got this from hobby lobby it's 199 so 
the needle art as well. It comes with pre-cut belt pieces, adhesive embellishment, plastic needle, embroidery floss, lightweight polyester fiber fill, and easy to follow instructions for $1.99. Uh, that was a good deal. So we got that. So we're on to books. You know me, I love to read. So I got a lot of books. <laughs> Um, the first, I got this manga, and I'm super bad at pr pronunciation. <laughs> so I got I Amakoi. So this is the cover of it. I got this from Bookman's. That's like a bookstore by me. After missing out on love because she was too shy to vent her feelings, high school student Sato me blurts out how she feels the next time she gets a crush. And it, it's her to her impossibly handsome schoolmate Yagahu. To her surprise, he agrees to date her. Now that Sado me suddenly in a relationship, what's next? Given how fast everything has happened, Sado me is still clueless about how dating is supposed to work. How will she forge ahead in her relationship with Yagahu? So I thought it sounded very interesting, and I heard about this, so I just got the first volume. Is Amadoki? It's super cute. I thought it was so cute. Like, ugh, the story, the synopsis is so cute. Okay. With Tam Popo Yamakazi, life at Elite Meho Academy seems way out of her league. The daughters of wealthy families snub her other students to make light of the fact that she's actually tested in Meho instead of relying on family connections. And the cute boy she saw attending a dandelion the day before won't even acknowledge her existence. Hoping to make friends and have some fun, Tanapo starts up a gardening committee. But will this help her survive in school where superficiality and nepotism reign supreme? Follows, Emma Doki follows the trials and tribulations of her budding horticulturalist, of a budding horticulturalist as she makes her way down the winding road to friendship. That is on so cute. Violent Delights. So I think it's a Peter Pan retelling. No, this one's a Romeo and Juliet retelling. So it's kind of hard to explain it, but it's just a Romeo and Juliet explain like retelling. So it's really like if it sounds interesting to you, try it. It sounds interesting to me, and there's a whole bunch of books in this series. So I'm like, that sounds interesting. I'm gonna try that. Got every summer after. I'll read this one. Six summers to fall in love, one moment to fall apart, a weekend to get it right. They say you can never go home again for Persephone Phaser ever since she made the biggest mistake of her life a decade ago. That has felt too true. Instead of spending glittering summers on the lakeshore of her childhood, she stays home in a stylish apartment in the city, keeping everyone a safe distance from her heart. Until she receives a call that sends her back, sends her racing back to Barry's Bay and into the orbit of Sam Florick the man she never thought she'd have, she'd have to live without. For six summers through hazy afternoons on the water and warm summer nights, working in his family's restaurant, Percy and Sam have been inseparable. Eventually, that friendship turned into something more before it fell particularly apart. When Percy returns to the lake for Sam's mother funeral, their connection is as undeniable as it's ever been, as it's always been. But until Percy can... Percy's Persephone, I just realized that. But until Percy can confront the decisions she's made, they'll never know whether their love is bigger than the biggest mistakes of their past. Told over the course of six years and one weekend, every summer after the gorgeous, nostalgic look at love and the people and choices that may mark us forever. So that sounded interesting. I've heard about this book. I'm sure everybody else has. So I got every summer after. Odoman, so... I thought this one was really cute too. Asuka Mazumi is a guy who loves girly things, sewing, knitting, making cute stuffed animals, and re reading so sh and reading shoujo comics. Girl, what's wrong with me right now? <laughs> but in a world where boys are expected to act manly, Asuka must hide his beloved hobbies and play the part part of a masculine jock instead. Ryo Mizukusa, on the other hand, is a girl who can't sew or bake a cake to save her life. Asuka finds himself drawn to Ryo, and she she likes only the manliest of men. Can Asuka ever show his true self to anyone, much less to the girl he's falling for? 
so i really like that it sounds so cute because i love sewing i love crocheting i love reading i love baking so i just thought it'd be super interesting so i got yellow face i'm so excited so i'm just i know a little bit about this book um from throne of pages i think it was so it's just about like copyright like how like she copyrights a book after somebody dies her favorite like author that she copied from before so when she got one of her prints she um she tried to edit the the novel to be her own and that just sounds super like interesting i hope i the synopsis i said was right because i i am hoping it is okay i'm so out of shape okay so next thing i got is from walmart it's this savory sweet and savory coloring book i thought it was so cute because look, look at some of the prints in here cookies i'm just gonna flip through them ones cake look like a breakfast that is so cute and then I also got other color pencils too, the Crayola ones. So I got these. And then I also got these paint brushes from Hobby Lobby. Um, it comes with like 12 pieces of different paint brushes. So. Cause I actually got rid of all my paint stuff cause I stopped and I didn't think I would ever do it again. But here I am. So I see some Dollar Tree There's stickers. Alphabet, candy, and these little pop up ones. So, I got this from Dollar Tree. This from Hobby Lobby. It's my first time trying these. This is the Diamond Paint by Number. So, it comes with high quality color printed fabric, gems, stylus, craft tray, wax, and a comfort grip, and instructions. So, I got I'm super excited to try this. This was kind of expensive. It was $12.99. So I got this. Um, see, I got from a friend. They're so nice. She gave me all of this yarn. Because you know they love to crochet. So I actually started a project on this. But I'm going to scrap it. Because it's not what I expected it. Like, it's not what I wanted it to be. So I'm going to stop it before I get too far. I got these two colors. I think these are cute. This is the color... Victorian rose. And I got some mohair. So I got these two colors. This one is called, it's called Purple Mountains. Two of these. Did I got this like reddish color? So I got that. And I got another big thing of red. It's so cute. I love dark reds. I think they're so cute. This is called um, Teal. <laughs> so, that's cute. Then I got these like fuzzy. The polyester colors. Color is Glacier, gl glacier Bay. Glacier Bay. And I got this color, which is Rainforest. So, that's some of the yarn I to deco with. You can see right there, I got my phone, but I got this mirror to deco with. So, I thought it would be cute. I got this hair clip. I think it's so cute, like to go in your hair. It's fuzzy. It's called a claw clip. Um, but I just thought it was super cute. It's fuzzy. So. Then I got these star coils. They're super cute. Look at these. I love these so much. Then I got some incense, you know, just for the mood. I love incense and candles. Even if they don't smell, it just like relaxes me in a way. And then I got this pink candle. It does not smell, but it's just pink. I thought it was really cute. Lobby Lobby. <laughs> okay. So I got this to make stuff with, um, clay, 
uh, I'm really excited about this. It was only $3.99. It's, it's pretty big for $3.99. But there was bigger ones. But I don't want to buy too much of it. Because I don't know how long I'm going to do this for. <laughs> so I just got this air drying clay. It has some tools to go with it. I got these wooden um, pottery tools. It comes with nine, 18 tools. Nine, 18 tools it comes with. So that's a lot. And I got some cutters for it. So here's a star. Here's a heart. A stabber. And then a little hook to cut stuff and like mold stuff. And then I got this Hello Kitty pin. It's so cute. Like I'm gonna put this on my backpack. But um, I love it. It's super cute. There's like the diamond um, paint by number. But though, diamond sticks. So it's the all purpose dotting adhesive. So I got that. And they gave my arm crack. Then I got two paints. Um, these were 49 cents. So I got purple and teal. I'm gonna be making my own. This is what I was like waiting for. This is like the end of the video now. I'm sorry, this video is probably so long, but like I have so much to show. So I got all of these right here. I cut out all of these to make photo cards with. So I'm gonna do that and then Here's some of the stuff I got for it. This is a big thing, guys. It's a laminator to laminate our photo cards. So I got that. Super excited about this. And then I got let's see, some glue sticks. I got two of these. And then I got some um laminating punches so i will have to show you guys some photo cards check my tiktok check my instagram probably see them there so thank you for watching um i hope you stayed this long but thank you bye